Hey everybody, my name's Rebecca. I'm one of the founders here at Keto Sisters. My friend Debbie is with us. She's fresh off the cruise, so I'm super jealous. A rainy cruise. A rainy, rainy day on a cruise is better than a rainy day at home any day. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm in Kentucky, Debbie's in Tennessee. Well, we're fully in fall officially now. And, you know, right around the corner from fall is the holidays, the winter season. So the mild temperatures that we have now, probably not going to stay with us. So we just wanted to get on here and just talk about maybe some strategies you can have going forward for how are you going to get your movement in? How are you going to stay active? Even if, or especially when the weather gets bad, because we don't want the weather to be yet another excuse to not get our movement in. Just when the winter comes around, we just kind of park it on the couch and go, oh, well, yeah, it's too cold or I don't feel like doing this. Yeah, not a good yeah. plan. No, it's not. It's not. And the other bad thing I think that sometimes people take advantage of is as it gets colder, we tend to dress in layers and big bulky sweaters and big coats. So if you put a little bit of insulation on, shall I say, in the form of fat, you can kind of hide it with the bulkier mm. sweaters. But, you know, eventually the sweaters have got to come off. Yeah. And if you keep active during the fall and winter, then there's less work to do in the summer. You can just keep going instead of, you know, we always seem to get in these patterns of starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping. And it's the starting that's so hard. So if we just keep going throughout the fall and winter, then it's not so hard when spring and summer come. Yeah. So what is that science term? Inertia. Yes. An object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion. So right. like Debbie said, like, let's take advantage of the fact that once we get in motion, we stay in motion instead of starting and stopping because the starting is the hard part. That's the hardest part. Yeah. So as far as making sure that we stay moving, obviously, if the weather changes, you've got to have some options. Some options can include bundling up and getting outside anyway. A lot of times that can be very invigorating, you know, just to mm -hmm. get outside, get that fresh air, even if there's a little nip in the air. Um, and a good way to make sure you do that is to get a dog. Debbie and I both have dogs. Oh, yes, yes, right? yes. We have a little puppy. He's a little psycho dog. Yeah. When he gets around people. So that's our, that, that is one, actually one of our plans is the weather's getting cooler where we actually can take him out more because he's, I call him, he's a little frou-frou dog. He's a Frenchie. So we can't really take him out that much in the, when it's warm out. So this and is the he, perfect time of year to get him out more and go for walks and get him around people and socialize him. So having a, a pet, I mean, some people walk their cats. Okay. If you want to walk your cat, we're not, you know. I'm they biased. even have leashes like for lizards now, <laughs> right? I don't know so if any pet... would like it outside if it's very cold. Though. Um, but yeah, if you have a pet, get out, get out, and get some activity with your pet because it's good for them too. Or you know, if you live in a neighborhood where you've got friends or neighbors close by, enlist one or two of them and say, "Hey, let's just commit to each other. We're going to walk every evening after dinner." Because if you know somebody's waiting for you, you're going to lace up those tennis shoes. You're going to hit the pavement. Where if, sometimes if it's just you, if your spouse is not on board, or if you don't have a family member or someone that lives with hard. you that's on board, sometimes yeah, it's hard it to just hard. motivate yourself. Mm -hmm. One thing that you can do too, and I noticed um, Cal actually mentioned this in the Keto Confident group, but um, we tend, you know, it gets dark earlier in the winter. And so we tend to maybe sit on the couch a little more and watch TV or something. So use those commercial breaks as times to get up. Oh. You can do some squats. You can do some push-ups. Hey, one thing about push-ups, and I need to do this in Keto Confident one time, is show all the different ways you can do push-ups. But you don't have to be down on the ground doing hardcore push-ups if you're just starting out. You can use the wall. You can use a chair. You can do them on the back of your couch, anything. You know, just get some movements in. Do, you know, march in place. Walk around your couch. That'll help get your steps in, too. That, um, you know, I think getting your steps in even in the winter or especially in the winter are just as important. And if you have stairs in your house, like we moved to a condo, that's it's pretty small, but it's tall. So it has mm -hmm. three you know, stories. So you can, like you say, either pause it or on a commercial break, get up, go up and down the stairs a few times, go upstairs, mm -hmm. get some water, bring it back down, oh. go upstairs or downstairs, wherever, throw in a load of laundry, come back down. Don't just stay stagnant. Don't right. just think into your couch, <laughs> Netflix and chill like too long. You can't do that, right? You got to get up and get moving. Great thing about these watches too mm -hmm. is like you were saying, if so, I mean, a lot of times we don't like commercials, so we tend to watch things that we don't have to watch commercials or see them. But um, your Apple watch will once every hour remind you to get up and move for at least a minute. So, you know, that's another good thing. Actually listen to it. Don't just, you know, uh, yeah. you know, make it shut up. But, or, you know, I like what you said too, set a timer, get up. Just get up every hour. Especially movement. like if you're working from home, like I can sit here and get really engrossed <laughs> in the computer. Like that's not even good for my eyes to just stare at a screen the whole time. Like every hour you should get up and even focus your eyes. Mm -hmm. from Instead of focusing on something that's really close, focus something far away and make your eyes work that way. Like exercise your eyes as well. 
And right. like you said, every hour, get up and do something. And there's a lot of evidence that says like little short bursts of intense energy can sometimes be more effective than longer episodes of exercise. People are like, oh, I don't have an hour and I don't have time to drive to the gym, work out for an hour and drive back. Well, you don't have to. You've got little pockets in your day. And if you're taking kids to sports, don't just sit in your car and play on your phone or sit in the bleachers and wait for them to be done. Get up and do some laps around the gym or you know, if it's not terribly cold or rainy outside, get outside, do some laps. I've been known to do some lunges and up and down the mm-hmm. stairs at the school. It's a great idea if your kid's being active for you to be active too. And it's also nice for your kids to see you being active. Right. And I, and I was just going to say, not only your kids, but what about the all, the all the other parents sitting around there? You know, like you can be a good example to them too. And they might like go, hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe, you know, it might take a few times of them seeing you do it to do it. But anytime that we can be you know, an advocate for more movement. I mean, I don't think anybody can deny that as Americans or, you know, people, humans in general, we need to get up and move more. You know, we live pretty sedentary lifestyles. A lot of us, a lot of people. And what we probably don't need more of is this action. So if you're just listening to the podcast and you're not watching the screen, I'm just flicking my finger up and down like some of us do on the phone. (laughs) This finger probably doesn't need any more exercise. (laughs) My thumbs probably don't need any more exercise either from texting or people playing video games. Like well, just get up and walk. It doesn't have to be a CrossFit or like a super intense um, lifting weights, just any form of movement throughout the day, even finding some kind of hobby that you enjoy. Maybe it's gardening and maybe you can do some indoor gardening and you can pot some plants for indoors. Now that we're moving to, to spending more in time indoors, I think it's nice to bring the outside in with plants and, you know, help clean out the CO2 in your house by having some plants around. And that can be a great hobby. And hey, if you if you like to clean houses and you live anywhere near me, you are welcome to get your exercise. <laughs> They're like, come on <laughs> over. <laughs> that is exercise I don't especially enjoy doing is house cleaning, but it is great exercise. It's great movement. Mm-hmm. And at our condo, for some reason, when they built it, they put the washer and dryer in the basement, and our bedrooms so are on. Have to go down yeah. two flights. Yeah. So I was doing laundry this morning. So you know, I was getting a lot of steps in and carrying things. So. It doesn't have to be somewhere where you spend money or you buy a lot of equipment. It's just moving your body about your daily life. And, Mm -hmm. you know, maybe you don't get the the click list or whatever, where you put your order in and they just bring it out to your car. Maybe you actually go to the store and you park in a far parking place and you walk inside and you walk around the store. Right. Is that the most exciting thing ever? I don't know. Maybe you get tired of being cooped in your house and it's nice to kind of get out. I know when I had little kids, I would like to go out for an outing. I'd throw them in the shopping cart. I'd get them a book or something to look at. And I would just kind of wander around because they were contained in the shopping right. cart. And I could just kind of look at things and just get out of my house. Right, right. Well, and you're also getting in steps while you're shopping rather than just sitting in your cart and letting, or living, sitting in your car and letting someone else bring them out to you. You know, if you're at all able, you know, go to the mall. You don't have to go to the mall and go shopping. Just go somewhere where you can go inside and walk, you know, if it's way too cold. Um, yeah. But getting getting some fresh air outside when you can, when it's not too super cold, is great. But then when it is, when it does turn in, it's way too cold for you maybe to walk outside. Go find somewhere indoors to walk, where you like to window shop, get ideas for Christmas, maybe something like that. Um, and and I'm always going to say yoga, you know, because because we do sit so much, it is so good to do yoga and movement and um, stretching your body. I was going to say when you're talking, you know, because we're always on our phones like this, so. Be mindful when you're out and about and really look at people because even when they don't have their phones, this is what's happening. Like our shoulders are turning in Our, you know, we're young people. It's so sad because so young people, I don't want to go off on a tangent here, but watch the young people. I mean, this is how their bodies are. So even if you just sit, open up, bring your hands together behind your back, you know, get some open up, you know, don't get me started on that, but no, preach, preach. <laughs> You know, I mean, even like I said, just something as simple as bringing your hands behind your back and lifting your heart, opening up, you know, breathe. breathe. I was going to say breathe, just breathe. (laughs) Like so many of us, we just breathe right here. Shallow, shallow. Like get those deep belly breaths going, you know, and I think you should get your heart rate up a couple of times a day, you know. And the more muscles you involve, because you were talking about those short bursts of energy earlier, um, and, and I mentioned squatting, like using your large muscle groups, like in your legs, just doing a few squats, try a few squats for even a couple minutes. You're going to start breathing. You're going to warm up your muscles. You're going to warm up your body. You can take off some of those heavy sweaters <laughs> you yeah. know, that you talked about earlier. So use those big muscle groups and get, you know, you can make those short bursts count. Like you said, you don't have to spend 30 minutes all at once. Just- right. And there's some inexpensive 
things that you can buy to use at your house. Just a good old fashioned jump rope. Mm -hmm. You can get bands and light hand weights. They're really affordable options now. But even if you don't want to purchase those, I've had people use canned goods or even bottled water. Right, you know, right. Used to lifting a lot of weight. Just give yourself a little bit of resistance, you know. Mm -hmm. and if you're doing that bottled water, then at the end you can reward yourself by drinking it. This this weighs, you know, a little good little bit. So you can just make sure the lid is on tight. But yeah, and because muscle building muscle, and some women say they're afraid to lift weights because they're going to build a lot of muscle. You know, you'd have to work really really hard. Your nutrition would have to be a thousand percent on point to build like the muscles like women say they're afraid of building. So. But it's so good for our bones as we age to do yes. some muscle, you know, some strength training, whether that's body weight training or adding in some weights. It is so good as we age. Muscles, number one, they burn more energy. Um, so you can fat. eat more, which I always so, love. Yeah. <laughs> and then number two, you know, it builds your bones, and which is so important because we lose that as we get older. So it's really important to do those squats, you know, do some little weights, do some push-ups. Yeah, okay. exactly. Because as you said, as we get older, we tend to lose bone density. We tend to lose lean muscle mass. So mm -hmm. like, don't go into older age. Like don't get older and just like surrender. Honey, I am fighting it every step of the way. I'm like, if they tell well, me I'm going to use a certain, per lose a certain percentage of muscle mass every year, I'm like, no, I might even gain some. I'll show you. Right, right. And, you know, going back to our theme here is like winter or fall movement. If we stop, those muscles in, in the bones are going to, you know, like, I don't want to say deteriorate, but you know what I mean? You know, they, they do they start to break it. down. Exactly. And if you take a couple months off and do absolutely nothing, you know, I mean, it's, it's just not good for our bodies. Our bodies weren't meant to be still. Um, they're meant, they're meant to move and to keep yeah. moving and to keep active. If you can't get on the floor, that's fine, but get as low as you can and practice getting back up. If you can get on the floor, sit on the floor a few minutes every day and just get back up because, that's a skill that if you quit doing it, then, you know, then you can't do it. Um, if you can at all, you know, keep doing it. But if you can't get as low as you can and get back up, you're using your muscles just doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, like I love going to the gym because I'm not yeah. one to necessarily carve time out of my day when I'm at home for myself. When I'm at home, I see laundry that needs doing or, you know, I see visual reminders of things that I need to do. So for me, going to a gym is really important. It's not necessary. Mm -hmm. Like you can exercise at home without it, but I know I'm a lot more likely to go if I've scheduled a class to teach or I'm meeting someone or I'm taking a class. Like there has to be a reason for me. And then I know, okay, this next hour is for me. So yeah, I think gym memberships can be great. Some people though think, oh, I paid for a gym membership. Check. Like, no, I'm done. It's, not, it's not the paying <laughs> of the gym membership. That gyms the love benefits. that mentality. That's what keeps gyms going. Because if you go, there are only certain times of the year that the gyms are super busy, right? Yeah. Usually, usually the beginning of the year, but gyms love that mentality. So don't let them win. <laughs> no, no. I'm like, you're going to lose money on me for sure. I'm going to go oh. get my money's worth. Like but most like, gyms, when you join, they'll do an orientation, show you how to safely use the equipment that they have, classes, and you can get that social aspect as well. And there are a lot of, as you get older, health programs that your health insurance will actually pay for you to go to a gym where it doesn't even cost you extra. Like I've been a silver sneakers instructor for, gosh, over a decade. And people that have that as an adjunct to their health insurance, they can go and use gyms, exercise classes, exercise equipment, the pool. They're charged nothing. So That's make sure, wonderful. especially if you're older, that you check and see what the benefits are if you've gotten extra coverage you might be entitled to free gym memberships, which is amazing. Right, right. I love that. Oh, well, one other thing I was thinking about. So my husband, John, he loves to cycle outside. He doesn't so much like spinning classes or Peloton, but he likes to like be on the open road and cycle. So he always sets a goal for how many miles he's going to cycle. Oh, that's a great idea. And so what he's done the last several years, he just takes the year and he's like, that's how many, how many miles I want to do. So this year it's 2022. Mm -hmm. And so he knows when we live in Kentucky, the winter months, they're kind of iffy on whether you can get out on the road, right, on a bike. So he has to kind of front load and get a lot done while the weather's good. So here lately, he's been a little bit more under the gun because he sees what's coming, right, on the calendar. He's like, I got to get ahead. I got to get ahead. And so there are several house projects around our condo that he wants to do. He's wanting to put up some shelves. He's wanting to do something with an accent wall, all these things. He's like, I'm going to save those for the colder months. 
those are projects where he will be active. He will be getting up and down off the ladder. He'll be hammering, he'll be moving, carrying things, whatever. So that's a way he can be active inside mm -hmm. when he can't be on his bike outside. So he's taking advantage of the weather now to ride more, but he's kind of earmarking some projects, AKA procrastinating. Yeah. And bugs, <laughs> bugs him about it. And so the weather's, the weather's not nice and he's kind of earmarking those for, okay, that's my, my bad weather project. So speaking of biking, we were so happy on the ship. We just came off. They actually had Pelotons. So we were actually able nice. to keep up our habit between yoga and riding on the ship. But him and his brother are getting ready to do a 235 mile bike ride. Yeah. So um, they're going to, it's in Missouri. So I think they end in St. Louis, but it's going to be like four or five days. So they're breaking it up. It's not just right. Uh, it's where your legs fall off. 40 to 60 miles a day. But he's like, hey, we're going to do this. Do you want to go? I'm like, no, you're sleeping on a cot in a tent. You have fun. But, you know, it's just something they can do to stay active. And Yeah. Well, you need to send me information on that because John's done several century rides mm -hmm. where he goes and rides 100 miles like all in one day. But I wonder if he would like that kind of doing like 50 or so miles a day. He's more than welcome to join him if he wants to. It's called the Katie Trail. And Debbie, you mentioned several times in our conversation, keto confident. So if you're watching or listening and you're not sure what that is, that is our accountability group, for lack of a better term. We have a private Facebook group, and it's all people who are pursuing a keto or a low-carb kind of carb-conscious lifestyle. You don't have to be strict keto to be in there, but there are lots of great resources in there. You can go through our Real Life Keto Challenge as many times as you want while you're a member. We have challenges within the Keto Confident group. Um, keto Nurse Rhonda shares a lot of recipes. Mm -hmm. Jenny shares a lot of great tips and tricks as well. And I think a couple of our members are going to start doing some cooking demonstrations and some cooking Zooms where they send out kind of a recipe. You buy all the ingredients and then we all cook it together. And so Debbie, Debbie has been doing some yoga instruction in that group, haven't you? Yeah, on Friday mornings, I usually do... Um... Just, just something small that you can do, you know, break it's not nothing, nothing huge. We're going to just chop it up into little poses and tell you the benefits and, you know, show you how to do it and uh, stuff like that. So it's been really fun. So far, I think people have been liking it. Yeah. I mean, I've heard nothing but good things about it. And it's, awesome. it's a lot of people are commenting. I didn't know I could do yoga. Mm, yeah. And then they try and they're like, it's amazing. It's wonderful. I feel so much right. better. Because it, like I said, even though it's just one pose, you can break it down in, in, in I know you do too. We just like to say yoga is for every body. You know, there, there's a modification for each and every pose. And, and so that's why I think taking it and breaking it down like this and teaching people how to breathe with it, you know, just breathe and just get your body moving. Again, that goes with our theme, you know, for this, this little show here is just as winter comes, keep, keep your body moving, try these poses. Um, and it's so good for us. I just wish everybody would do yoga because it would help you feel better. And Well, and the world would be a nicer yeah. place if more people I say did that yoga. all the time, too. And I'm like, man, if more people would just do yoga, the world would be a better place. True. true. But I digress. Yeah. You know, something else that I know that people have really gotten into lately is pickleball. Do you all yeah. have pickleball in Tennessee? I haven't done it. But when we went a couple months ago, we went to a campground in... Um, yeah, yeah, Pigeon Court. It's huge. Yeah, so that's Tennessee. They, had, they were tennis courts. But then it said pickleball and I'm like that's a tennis court what is pickleball so yeah, yeah. Something I, I've never with. played it but I have friends who like are obsessed with it and it can be played indoors on an indoor tennis court um, or you can play tennis indoors there are lots of indoor mm -hmm. leagues and activities that you can do inside it's a great thing to think about joining maybe this fall it, or winter yeah there's I mean, thinking about that you said indoor leagues and stuff there's also bowling yeah I mean you don't think of bowling as but it is, you pick up, you're carrying a weighted ball, you know, and you got to move your body and twist and throw. And you're walking back and forth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a great that idea. A, there are lots of really cool things that you can do inside. Fun, fun there's things. there's a, yeah. a new company, it's called Activate, and I don't own it or anything, but they have these physical activities that you can do that are games. And so it's kind of like what you would think of at, like in a game room at Chuck E. Cheese or whatever, but like the whole thing is games. So one game is basketball. One game is throwing a baseball. A lot of them have lasers. You're crawling under lasers, then you get up and then you have to lean back or they have ones where you have to rock climb and oh certain, certain handholds will light up and you have to, to get certain colors or there are certain targets on the wall and you have to hit certain colors and avoid other colors or turn off things or follow things and squares that light up on the floor and you have to only hit the green ones and avoid the red and then they move and 
And now it's like, not a physical place where you go. Yeah. It's like, I was going to say it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. And there's one really close to my house. I've never been to that one. I've driven an hour and a half to go to one twice in a different city. And then the one's open here, but I'm still nursing my um, Achilles oh. heel injury. So I haven't been yet, but I mean, I would leave there when we went to the one in Louisville and I would just be sweating, but it was so much fun. Like you don't realize how much you're breathing and moving because you're just trying to, to win the game, you know, or to beat a certain time. So well, there, there may be things like that in your area that you could find. Um, something that I love to do and, and I actually have to get better at doing it more often because um, when you mentioned getting up, no, please, everybody don't laugh too hard. Okay. But um, I never thought I would like virtual reality, but I, once I put this little headset on here. You look like a minion. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> I put minion eyes on mine. But there are games on there that are fitness games that I love to play. Um, Beat Saber, you know, is one. The Supernatural. There's some great games in there that you don't feel like you're working out. But by the time you take that headset off, you're a sweaty mess. Yeah. And you know, that's funny you mentioned that. Because somewhere in Tennessee, I can't remember where it was. I think maybe Franklin. I went to a nephew's birthday party once down there and it was all like virtual reality and you put on your headset and went into mm -hmm. different rooms yeah. and it was very physical. And then my nephews all have those things and they always like for me to put them on because I'm so like funny, I like <laughs> run into walls and they're like, don't go past the boundaries, but I get all excited. And the first time I put it on, I was like, oh, <gasps> I know wow. they just laugh at me because I'm like <laughs> looking around, but there was some game where you had a bow and arrow mm -hmm. and I was just like this as fast as I could, you know, shoot whatever the targets were. And right. I was like so hot and sweaty afterwards, yes. but it was fun. So you can find ways to mm -hmm. move that are fun. Yep. Something else that you can do that's a resource that we provide here at Keto Sisters is on our YouTube channel. We have two mm -hmm. different playlists where we have yoga classes, like on the mat, on the floor, getting up and down. And then we also have chair yoga classes and those are completely free. You can just go on there. Um, a lot of them I recorded during quarantine when we were all kind of shut down. So sometimes the audio is not great, but you could just put on your own music and just follow along with the screen. And that's a great and totally free way for you to keep moving, even if it's cold and rainy outside. Right. Just, just do it. Well, I see that we've been sitting now for almost half an hour. <laughs> so we better get off here and get ourselves moving and do what we preach. But thank you so much for getting on with me. Thanks for having me. It's been fun. Yeah, it's been great. Lots of good ideas. So just pick a few to like keep you moving throughout the cold months. Get outside. When you can, like you can bundle up, even when it's kind of drizzly. Sometimes I like to go outside, just put my little raincoat on and get out there because I just get tired of being inside. We need that fresh air. We really do because, you exactly. know, everything's so much closed off tight in the winter inside. So in that heat that you're doing, get out and get some fresh air. Breathe. Yeah. And don't hide under those big sweaters, right? Right, right. And open up. Open up and breathe. All right. Thanks, guys, for hopping on. And thank you again, Debbie. That's it for now. My pleasure. It's been great. Bye, guys. Bye. We hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as we enjoyed making it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Also, check out these other great videos we've made for you. And if you want more of that great keto content, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell so that you get notified of all of our new videos.